It is a really blustery day outside, but it's pretty exciting because I have, you know, just about 20 or 30,000 bees right outside my door right now. Follow me as we head on out to install the bee package with the no-shake method. It is a great way, it's a non-stressful, non-killing way of in introducing a, a package of bees into a hive. And if you would like a printout, a free printout of the steps on how to do this, follow the link below and you will be um, able to download this, print it out, take it with you to the hive so you don't have to wonder and worry about what to do and how to do it and what to do next. It'll be just printed, just right there, step by step, what to do so that you don't have to remember it and you can get it done and get it done well. So I have a queen, what came, what the queen came in when one of the last packages I got. So inside um, this little package here there was a queen walking around and on this end there's a hole and there is usually a, there's a cork in there that's holding the queen inside there but what i'm going to do when i get out to the hive and i'm ready to place her in the hive i am going to very carefully remove that cork and but not let her out see the the queen is essential to a hive if you let the queen go or she flies away you don't have a hive and so it is imperative that that doesn't happen so i'm going to carefully remove that cork and put my finger over that hole right here i have a bloop a blob of uh, i got it just from the from some of the frames my older frames from a previous year i just got some it's like goops of honey and wax that i kind of gooped together into a ball and so what i'm going to do is remove that cork and put that goop i'm going to press it down into that hole and what will happen is the bees the worker bees will slowly and, and the queen them will slowly eat through this and they will slowly release her so it won't be an immediate thing they're still getting used to their new queen this will allow them time to get used to her pheromones and get used to just her as as their queen bee and and as they slowly release her they will say oh she's she's our lady we're gonna keep her let's get to work and take care of her and all of her little baby bees okay i'm sitting here by my hive it where it needs to in just a bit but I wanted to explain and visually show you how I have this place so I have five frames in here this is where the box of bees will go when it, when it's all out there so this frame here has a lot of oh it does have some honey in it but it has a lot of open area for her to lay her brood and to lay the eggs so on this side there's um, most of it is open for that uh, this second and I put this in the middle this second frame here is the same. Um, it's pretty heavy. This is pretty heavy, honey. But again, it's it's open here, and on this side, it is open again for brood. And then this here um, has some some open frames. It also has some. You can tell that there's some honey in this that that wasn't capped. They hadn't gotten to that process. Um, and again. I, I also don't forget that you'll want to sprinkle all of these with some some sugar water uh, before you go out there. That'll give them again some. So here, there's some area for her to to lay some eggs as well. And this one, oh my, it is so heavy. It is a full frame of, of honey here, and that will be really good for them and get them started with some food as well because like I said we are just <laughs> starting spring and it's still pretty cold so there is no um, flowers blooming trees don't even have leaves started yet hardly so this will really help them um, this spring as they get started my hat on my suits on got my gloves my sugar water and my box of tools so it has my hive tool in it I think 
it should have my hive tool in it i'll make sure but make sure that just when you go out there that you're prepared that you have everything that you need ready to go right there with you that'll make it very much easier and better that you have everything right there so you can use something like this it works great okay <laughs> found my hive tool very important <laughs> oh and I didn't also mention I'm gonna bring out a little block of wood because when I pry up the the little can that's in there that was feeding them um, when I pry that up I'm going to place this over that until I'm a little more situated and so they're not all just flying around like crazy some will get out but that's okay but this will keep the majority in um, until I'm really ready for them to get out so I will put this in my box as well it's windy I'm sure <laughs> so here we go have my hive situated with the opening facing away from where the normal winds and weather comes from so usually over that hill the wind the rains the, the all of that comes over that hill so I have placed the opening facing east and away from the prevailing weather that, that usually comes I also did in the front of my hive place an entrance reducer and so there's just a small little hole where they can get in and out. It gives them um, less area that they have to protect from invasive creatures and so I did place that in the front as well. So inside here, this here was the can that was feeding them and I've been told it's empty. This here is what we're gonna pry up. This is connected to the queen. So just be aware that that is what is holding the queen. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is bounce the bees. As you can see, they're in a big jumble at the top. I'm going to bounce and drop them. I'm gonna shake them down to the bottom, do one big bump and shake them to the bottom. And then um, I'm going to pry this can up. Um, and put this wood block over it so that they're not flying out. So I will slide this over quickly to um, so they don't all just fly out. So they all bounce to the bottom. Pry this up, it is empty. They're probably pretty hungry. And some will fly out. Oh, it's pretty sticky. These bees have made this really sticky. Okay, and I'm gonna cover. Come on. I mentioned about the queen. So she is connected to this here. This has a long metal piece that I'm going to straighten up. But again, I don't want this to fall inside. But as you can see, it straightens up there and it's going to slide out of this little slit here and then I'm going to place her in between here um, in between these and, and just kind of sandwich it together and feel it moving inside here all right here she comes they've already been trying to get her out Right inside there, there she is. And you can see the cork there. It is kind of skewered a bit. I am, um, I pushed, the cork ended up inside. It was halfway, and so I'm pushing that wax and that honey in there. 
Okay? So that's covering that hole so she can't just fly away and fly out. Now, with this facing so that it's not, you know, so she has air, I'm facing it so that it is facing this way. So they can smell her, they can get to her. I am going to push it down in between these frames here uh, with that the wax mixture honey wax mixture facing down and so it is between those frames there I'm gonna squish them together as best as I can so it's tight she will get chewed out of there and um, then begin laying eggs. So I'm tightening these, tightening these things up. So anytime there's a gap, a bee will fill it. So you wanna keep your frames as tight, close together as possible, or you will have every crack filled. And sometimes it can make it really hard to move around and, and get into your hive because of that. So keep your frames tight together. Okay, now I'm, I am going to shake some bees out on top of her and so that they know that she's there so I'm gonna um, shake some of these bees out on top of her there's a clump here so I just shook out some bees right there this way is so that there's not a lot of shaking and damage to your hive and they will they, they know that she's there and they will all just naturally come out of there they will know that there's honey they will get to work and they will just naturally climb out so in about five five days I will come back and check on them make sure that she is out and, and then this box will be empty and I will take it out and then replace, you know, fill that in with the, the new frames. I, I will put some more with honey and some more empty frames with brood. And that is how I believe is the best way, the no shake method of installing a bee package. It's very easy, it's very effective, and you have a strong hive once they are placed in here. So they will, uh, this honey frame will feed them. They've got a frame in here that has some pollen in it and they've got empty um, comb that they can, that she can begin to lay her eggs and begin the brood um, and the process of starting to get this hive with lots of numbers and lots of bees and, and to get it to a strong hive. Also, I have some sugar water here, not vinegar, it's just sugar water. And I'm just gonna also, um, sprinkle on them that get, that just will give them they will clean it off themselves if they're tired um, this will give them a boost of energy and that'll be really good for them I'll get these ladies covered up so that they can get out of this wind this weather I'm gonna place these on top so it'll minimize anything blowing off so don't forget to subscribe hit that bell button uh, and, and follow me in my farm adventures that are bees and horses and cows pigs goats you name it chickens you name it so come along with me on my journey